the Dhaka Art Summit is a great connecting point with the rest of the world for conversations to happen. Dhaka Art Summit is one of the highest daily visited exhibitions in the world. And we wanted to make the point that you might have huge language or class divides, but art and ideas are a way to bring people closer together. This is a great place for international audience to discover new artists, Bangladeshi artists. While there are a lot of very recognizable and celebrated international names, most of the artists in the Dhaka Art Summit are Bangladeshi. It's a good opportunity for the Bangladeshi art scene to meet with other practitioners in their own context and to really own the summit. And I felt that they really own the summit. What's really beautiful about the Dhaka Art Summit is it's something we build together. Most of the works are new. We're not just shipping things that you've seen somewhere else here. We're actually creating things here with the local community. Landversation is made by the stories of local people. As an artist, I take this non-tangible forms and create forms. And then I invite the 28 people to come to the table and to talk with the public. Roots is 61 art educators from Bangladesh. They are very collaborative minded people. We want to represent that ideas to our new generation. We all are lives, so we should concern about our roots. At the heart of our exhibition is the questioning of how do we build, for whom do we build, trying to redefine the ways in which we see and redefine the ways in which our bodies are being engaged in the process of viewing. I like to think of this show as being a provocation. There's obviously some really interactive pieces. There's some very beautiful work to look at, but there's also work that really makes you think. The work is pictures of bones in the hills of fish. It's a suggestion to look into something ordinary that could be something special when you look really closely. I'm really hoping women can connect to the stories that are being told. Look them in the eye and see themselves in that and feel powerful. A summit can be right at the top of a mountain. Mountains are also the sign of a tectonic collision. So if we're a summit, how can we be a place where all these ideas can collide? And where you can have a different vantage point, right? When you look from a height, you see things differently. This is a monumental temporary structure. My people in Bougainville have lashed and made stories on these panels. The summit has organized that other collectives use the space. You have a group of young people from Bangladesh who are dancing in the space. Those costumes they're wearing are reincarnations of the tree spirits. All of these stories are happening here and we've created that space together. The Dhaka Art Summit began as a South Asian art platform. We extended the platform to look at the global majority world. The way that art history has been written, non-Western contexts are footnotes. I really thought it was interesting to kind of catalyze the next generation of thinkers to start looking comparatively at contexts across the global majority world rather than always comparing themselves to North America or Europe. So we were lucky enough to have received a grant from the Getty Foundation for a program called Modern Art Histories in and across Africa, South and Southeast Asia. We have 30 scholars presenting their research papers and it's an incredible platform for local Bangladeshi students. Having access to this kind of art historical research, that's something that we can uniquely do here. Education is such an important part of what we do, especially the Samdani Art Foundation. We have trained people who speak Bangla, ways to engage the audience, to ask them questions, to help them interpret the art, to demonstrate how they can interact with it. In a country that lacks contemporary art museums, thousands of Bangladeshi school children are growing up seeing the best contemporary art from all over the world. There are VIPs. The Samdani Art Award is such a great platform to discover our young generation who are doing incredible work how we perceive ourselves as a human being, our existence. That story is narrating in my work. It's kind of a spiral. This idea came from that our universe or on our fingertip, or if you see the snails, there is an organic spiral form. This art summit and this foundation gives the artists that space and freedom to explore themselves more.
It's not just about the exhibition, it's how we channel the resources and energy for the exhibition to make an impact in the community long past the nine days of the summit. The collective body brings together 15 collectives from Bangladesh and 15 collectives from other parts of the world. Our participation at the Dakar Summit, it's been a success because of the sharing with the Bangladeshi collectives but also the other collectives that are from the Asian continent. We have a public program collaborating with artists from Malaysia, Pangrof Sulap. It's incredible to have the privilege of getting those brilliant minds to engage with the brilliant minds of Bangladesh and seeing what happens with those collaborations in the future. We're kind of a starting point, but things ricochet and extend out. Climate change is a reality for Bangladesh. This place used to be closed down and this used to be completely air conditioned. Now this year we opened it up so we use less energy. Curatorial practice, exhibition making practice, design, architecture, space, these are all one. We wanted to bring the outside inside and the inside outside. Art and life are connected. I think it's wonderful that people come through this growing living project to enter the summit. Although the Samdani Art Foundation hosts the Dhaka Art Summit, it's owned by the people of Bangladesh. We have no VIP hours, no tickets. It's free for all and everybody is welcome. Yesterday there were 40,000 people who came through the space. It's an event that brings artists and art into contact with very, very diverse local publics. The good thing about the Dakar Art Summit is that it's bringing together worlds that normally do not meet. It will allow for different things to grow over time. What's the point of just doing a big art show? The art show has to have an impact that moves people to demand a better future. This is the way we can uh, make a connection again. It's kind of like a bridge. It's very powerful how we share our knowledge. The many levels of exchange point towards a new form of networked international practice that doesn't need to pass through the historical centers of art production. It's about what people can create together and the ideas that people come up with. Although Dhaka Art Summit is for nine days, it doesn't end here. It's about the process and it's also about what's to come. I just can't wait to see what happens when these ideas explode and pop up elsewhere, kind of like aftershocks of the seismic movements.